Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Thanks for watching. We're going to go ahead and evaluate this problem. And it will be important to remember that these two bars are not numbers. They are absolute value bars for this particular unit. Now we treat absolute value bars just like we would parentheses. So we have to do what's inside of this absolute values first. 14 minus 25. Now since we're subtracting something bigger than what we have originally, uh, we know the answer to that is going to be negative. And we'll take the absolute value of whatever that is. Uh, another way to look at that is if we have $14 and we spend $25, how much do we have? Well, we would have then a negative $11. And this is multiplied by negative 8. Next, we have the absolute value of negative 11, which would simply be positive 11. Absolute values determine how far a number is from 0, and so all of these will come out positive because all these distances are positive. And we'll multiply this by negative 8. Since we're multiplying, we have 1 negative. 1 is odd, so we know that the answer to this is going to be negative. From here we can simply multiply 11 by 8, and 8 times 1 is 8, and 8 times the 1 here is 8 as well, and so our final answer is negative 88.